what has upset the Apple card really is initially and in the past, uh, there has always been fake news. And there was no big trouble in the United States because presumably the Republicans and the Democrats both used it and it was just balanced. But then came this idea that the Russians have uh, imbalanced this. But, you know, it hasn't been proven and nobody knows how much effect it had. But Ezra, let me tell you, uh, with respect to what really happened when I was in Chile uh, on the occasion of giving a lecture there at an, at an institution, uh, a government institution, the School for Diplomats. It's important to mention this, that I wasn't there on the uh, uh, merit of my political views. I gave a lecture on the future of the international monetary policies, uh, institutions for future diplomats. So I walked around uh, the town, and to my astonishment, at that time, I could not see any demonstrations that I had seen almost every day on the CBC when I was in Vancouver. Well, somewhat strangely, uh, I went to the Canadian ambassador, put my calling card through a slot, and he came out and he said, well, so nice to see you, Professor Grubel. Uh, what can I do for you? And we had a chat. And he said, well, complaint or con concerns over the difference between uh, the number and ferocity of uh, demonstrations against uh, Pinochet uh, that you see in on the television in in Canada and the actual on the ground experience here, several people have asked me, why is there this difference? And he said, let me tell you a story. Last week, my spies uh, found out that a television crew from the CBC had arrived in Santiago Airport. We followed them and the next morning, they went to a poor area of Santiago where they met with uh, 10, 15 people who went to a garage, picked up anti-Pinochet placards, waved them and uh, arranged themselves in a, a position where the camera uh, showed as if it was a really large demonstration. And the next day, in Vancouver, in British Columbia, in Canada, the people of Canada were shown a demonstration against Pinochet in Santiago. Yeah. It never took place. That's an excerpt from my daily TV show, The Ezra Levant Show. Normally it's behind a paywall, but I thought you'd like this video, so we put it on YouTube. Uh, if you want to subscribe to watch The Daily Show every day, including always two interviews a day and I read my hate mail, just click on this screen and become a premium member.